हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अ सोल्यूशन वीडियो फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 चैप्टर 6 एस वर्मा द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट से इज टू मासेस एम वन एंड एम टू आर कनेक्टेड बाय अ लाइट रोड एंड द सिस्टम इज स्लिपिंग डाउन अ रफ इंक्लाइन ऑफ एंगल थीटा विद हॉर्जोंटल द फ्रिक्शन कॉफिशेंट एट बोथ द कॉन्टैक्ट इज म्यू फाइंड द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ द सिस्टम एंड द फोर्स बाय द रोड ऑन वन ऑफ द ब्लॉक्स सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम there are two blocks which are connected by a road are sliding down an incline with an angle theta and we have to find the acceleration and the tension in the road okay so so that means when they slide down so there will be a tension or the force exerted by the road on the m2 block as well as on the m1 block okay so we will try to observe these block by using the free body diagram and we'll try to solve this problem now i am drawing the fbd of m1 so in that case the m1g force will act downward this is the reaction force so the component of m1g r m1g cos of theta and m1g sin theta and the frictional force is in the upward direction and the tension provided by the road t will try to pull this down in the left hand direction okay so we will write the equation of motion as m1 g sin theta plus t minus f1 so this is f1 is equal to m1 a now putting the value of f1 so this will become t plus m1 g sin theta minus mu m1 g cos theta is equal to m1 a so this is equation 1 now for the free body diagram of m2 i'll say this is m2 now this time this is m2 g and this is m2 g cos of theta here it is m2 g sin theta this is the reaction the frictional force f2 it is in upward direction and this time this tension is try to pull up in the upward direction so the tension is in this direction okay so we will write the equation of motion as m2 g sin theta minus t minus f2 is equal to m2 a now i'll put the value of f2 so this will become m2 g sin theta minus t minus mu m2 g cos of theta is equal to m2 a let's say this is equation 2 now by adding equation 1 and 2 so the, here it is minus t here it is plus t so t will cancel out okay so we will get adding equation 1 and 2 we will get m1 g sin theta minus mu m1 g cos theta plus m2 g sin theta minus mu m2 g cos theta is equal to m1 a plus m2 a so if we solve this so here it is m1 plus m2 times a here it is going to be m1 g sin theta so if we take g sin theta from here and here common so this will become m1 plus m2 again from here if i take mu g cos theta as common so this will also become m1 plus m2 so they will cancel out so m1 plus m2 will cancel out throughout this equation so the acceleration will become g sin theta minus mu g cos theta so this is the acceleration by which both the block will move in the downward direction now we got the acceleration so we can easily find the tension in this road so using any of the equation so i am using equation 1 so i'll get the value of t as t plus m1 g sin theta minus mu m1 g cos of theta is equal to m1 times the value of acceleration is g sin theta minus mu g cos of 
theta so this will become t plus m1 g sin theta minus mu m1 g cos of theta is equal to m1 g sin theta minus mu times m1 g cos of theta so they will cancel out each other so the t will become zero so that means the force by the rod on the block will be zero so in nutshell we can say this will act as a single system where this rod and m1 and m2 are considered as a one system okay so this is the solution of this problem